Johnny and welcome back to my making it work series this is day one week one of my new job so I I did work a couple of days ago for two hours but it was just training so I didn't really think that counted so I'm counting this as day one so anyway see my new screen back here um, I made a mistake and got a three panel instead of a four panel so it's not wide enough behind me to hide everything so I just kind of put it off to the side and you could see a little bit of my bed there so it, it's not a big deal to me but um, I wish I would have got a four panel uh, that would have worked so much better but it doesn't fold the way I really wanted it to to fit correctly behind me so mm, it'll work so anyway, I need to get going. I'm running a little bit late, just like normal. I like to always be early. So let's get going on my makeup today. First thing I wore, and this is for the week, um, I am wearing my BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Gel in Brunette. That is that. This is what the spoolie looks like. It's a little blonde, but it really doesn't look too bad, I don't think. Okay, the next thing I used was my Ulta Eye Primer, I'm using that up. And then for my eyeshadow this week, I'm using my Morphe, my new one I just won from um, Jess and Sarah, uh, Twin Style Beauty. And this is the 35K, so this is the coffee colored palette. And this is the palette here. And what I used today was this for an all-over color. I used, I'm upside down here, so I used this for a transition color, and I used this on my um, eyelid, and I, a little bit of this underneath my eyelid. And then I used, um, I'm thinking it was this one here in the corner of my eyes, but I didn't use too much of that. Okay, so that is my eyes. Um, must be cops out there. Oh, mascara. I am using my Lash Accelerator Mascara with Avec Grow Lash Complex by Rimmel. I kind of like Rimmel, I, Rimmel mascaras. Two of my favorite are from Rimmel, so... Okay, for my blush, I'm using my Kiko Milano in Blending Wave Multicolor Blush, and it's number two. And this is what it looks like, and I just um, swirl it all together. And on my bare skin, I, I was going to start wearing like BB cream to work at night, but I don't know how warm it's going to be. So that's why, and you're always going to see me in this, because this is my black t-shirt that I have to wear. It's got my logo on the back. It's got the logo here for my, for this. I got a really big one, so I'm hoping it'll shrink a little bit. I'm going to roll up the sleeves a bit, too. And also, I wore a highlighter today, and I wore my new uh, geometric highlighter powder that I got um, at Walgreens. Um, you'll see the haul coming up here. I've got it like beginning of next week I think but I did find this highlighting powder. This is the Desert Explorations and I just swirl it all together and this and you can it's very it's subtle it's not a bam in your face highlighter and subtle is what I want for work and this week I'm using pa um, crayons for lipstick or you know the crayon style and this is a cover girl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm, and this is in the color 225 is all that I can see that it says. If I could find my, I don't know what I did with my magnifying glass, otherwise I'd look and see what, see if I could see anything else, but that's what I think it says. But this is the color there. Very pretty. Um. You know, I don't want anything. I don't want to wear reds to work. So, but this is very pretty. It's a very pretty pink. 
and very comfortable on my lips. So anyway, that is my lip, or my lips, that is my day one, week one, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to week one, day two of my new job, Making It Work. And um, as usual, I'm in kind of a hurry. <laughs> I have to run to the post office before I... Um, go to work today so um, I'm just gonna get right into this and tell you what I'm wearing for the week I am wearing my uh, flawless brow gel in brunette by BH cosmetics <clears throat> looks like that excuse me there's the spoolie on that um, this is not my favorite but it it does work pretty good it's a little bit harder to put on than some of my other brow gels so, okay, so then I used my Ulta uh, eye primer. Put this stuff in here while I'm showing it to you. I used my Lash Accelerator Mascara with Avec Grow Lash Complex by Rimmel. And that's what that looks like. Here is the spoolie. I love the long wand on this. It just seems like it makes put, makes me putting my mascara on easier. Okay. For um, my eyeshadows, I am using the uh, 35K palette by Morphe that I won in a giveaway. And today I used, which I will probably use this all week long, and this for the base. I used this for the crease, and I used this gold for the eyelid today. Um, I love shimmery eyelids. So those three today, I'll show you my eyes. I think it looked, I think it turns out, turned out really pretty. Um, for blush, I used my Kiko Milano in Blending Wave Multicolor Blush in 02. And this is what the outside of that package looks like. I just think it's really pretty. And here is the blush. And there's what the blush looks like. And then I used my Wet n Wild uh, Geometric Highlighting Powder in Desert Explorations. That is what this looks like. And it's very subtle highlighter. Um, I really don't see much of it at all. It's very, very subtle, which is okay by me. And today on my lips, I'm wearing Ulta Lip Crayon in Rumors. And I'm, I'm doing lip crayons all week this week. I try to do a theme in my lipsticks. So lipstick is the only thing that I change out during the week. Um, if you would rather me use one lipstick along with everything else that I use one, the same thing every week. If you would like me to use, say, like this lipstick every day of the week, let me know. Or if you want me to keep rotating my lipsticks, but keep everything else the same every week. Let me know in the comments, please. Okay, anyway, that is this color, and it's very pretty. It's a mauve pink, and it's my color. I love this color. Okay, we're going to set that out where it is not going to get mixed in with the colors that I used already this week. And that is it for my makeup of the week. Ooh, my glasses are dirty. My goodness. Um, last night went... Uh, um, la tonight is our official opening. Last night we um, had like a soft opening with a lot of friends and family of the owners. And so I stood around and helped the bar most of the night. I had one, no, two customers in the casino. Otherwise, I had people looking around and stuff in there to see it. But I had two customers all night. And one one cashed out $50, one cashed out 250 and neither one of them gave me a penny. So I, I kind of have a feeling that that's the way this is going to go here. I, I'm hoping I'm wrong, but, you know. So anyway, I... We'll talk to you tomorrow on day three. This is Friday, and we go through Sunday in our weeks. We go Monday through Sunday, so this is a little bit different. So I still have um, 
a couple more days after tonight. So I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my making it work in my new job. Week one, day three. I have, uh, this is Saturday. I have one more day to this week is Sunday, and then I have Monday off. Tomorrow is, uh, or Monday is Memorial Day, so we'll be taking flowers out to my dad's grave and um, some aunts and uncles and stuff like that tomorrow. So, um, again, I'm running a little late. <laughs> I, I just, I always think I have plenty of time, but then I end up goofing off or, or um, answering a couple emails or doing something that takes up my time, and then I'm running a little late. Um, my hair, I haven't tried the new style yet because I have to have my hair back at work. Um, even though, you know, it's like this, I, I have two bobby pins, if you can see them, one here, or two clips, one here, one here, to keep my hair back out of my face. Um, I uh, put on my makeup today, and it kind of shows you how powdery some of this stuff is, because I looked down and I had uh, powder all over the front of my black t-shirt. I wonder how many times that I've had that all over me, but it's been on, you know, a different colored shirt that I didn't notice it. Anyway, let's get started. First thing I used for the week was, what did I do with it? Um, my uh, Flawless Brow Gel BH Cosmetics in Brunette, which is like this. The only thing I, you know, it this is an okay color, actually. It looks a lot lighter than it actually is. looks lighter in the bottle than it actually is on my eyebrows. So it's not so bad, but the cap comes off. Um, you're trying to, to turn the cap, and the cap comes off. It comes apart from the spoolie. You have to be careful when you do that. And it just kind of turns on, it own, on its own, so you know it's not really attached very well. But anyway, I used that. Then for my eyes, I used my Ulta Eye Primer. You're going to get sick of seeing this one until it's gone. Okay, and then I used my 35K Morphe, whoops, Morphe Eye Palette. I have lipsticks falling all over the place. Okay, today I used... I'm, I'm using this one all week just because I really like that for a base color. Then I used, what did I use? I used this one today for my crease and my transition. And I used this for my lid today and in the corner of my eyes. This really shiny um, gold one. I'll show you my eyes. I think they turned out pretty good. Um, I think I kind of got that crease thing down a little bit better than I did, even though it doesn't look near as good as three-fourths of the people on YouTube. At least I'm happy with it anyway. You know, I can, I've got that transition color going on. Then I used my Lash Accelerator Mascara with Avec Grow Lash Complex by Rimmel, and I'm really loving this um, mascara it goes on so nice it doesn't clump it seems to me like it makes my lashes a little bit longer even though I have kind of non-existent lashes and I hate um, false lashes I just I don't like the way they look um, you know some people look good in them but I just think why mess with what you got you know what I mean my opinion only my opinion but I'm old so <laughs> and I don't want to mess with the false eyelashes. Excuse me, I have an inch. Okay, so that's my mascara for the week. Then for my blush, I used the Kiko Milano in number two blending wave. That's the outside, and it looks like this. There's my blush. And highlight, I used my Wet n Wild Geometric Highlighting Powder in Desert Exploration. And this is really hard to get open. And it's a very subtle subtle highlighter. It's not, I mean, you can see it today because I, I kind of put it on twice. <laughs> but, um, and then for my lipstick, I'm using lipstick crayons this week. I used my flower. Da-da-da-da-da, is there? Berry more. Haha, 
funny, huh? Drew Barrymore. But it's Barry Moore is the name of this. And this is the color. Very pretty um, berry, pinky berry color. And it, it's got kind of a, a matte looking finish to it. It's very pretty. I love this color. I've used this one quite a bit, actually. Enough that I've broken the lid. The lids are, are really cheap plastic, by the way. But I do, I really do like these flower lip pencils. Okay, so that is it for my makeup today. I got a box from Ulta today, so I will be doing, hopefully Monday, I will be doing um, a uh, Ulta haul and a very tiny Amazon haul. And that is the last of the money that I took out for myself um, out of my garage sale money. So I'm excited to show you what I got. So I will see you tomorrow in my video. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. This is Connie, and welcome back to my day four, week one of my Making It Work series with my new job. And I just remembered I didn't put my lipstick on, but we'll get to that. I'll put it on at the end of the video. Um, I wanted to, to wish everybody happy Memorial Day. Uh, please have fun. Drive safe. Um, play on the water safe, whatever, but please don't also don't forget what this holiday means. It is to honor those that have fallen in war. Like my, well, my dad didn't fall in war. He's a veteran, but um, the people that didn't make it back from Iraq or Vietnam or whatever. So just remember that and say a little prayer for him, okay? All right, let's get to this. Um, I'm. This is my last day of my work week. I have tomorrow off. I am uh, going in early. It is now about 12, about noon. I'm gonna um, just getting ready to go. I wasn't supposed to be there till 3.30, but I am going to go in early because she wants to leave a little early. So it'll make up a few hours that I lost during the week. Well, that'll be awesome. So, let's get to this so I can get to work. Um, give you my thoughts on everything for the week, and for this final day of the week. This was the Flawless Brow Gel by BH Cos Cosmetics. And it works pretty good. And the color is actually pretty good. Um, it takes a little bit of work to get, you know, get it on your brows even. It leaves a lot of little dots behind that... I kind of have to work with and the lid comes off so I mean that's just that's a packaging issue there but um, overall it's pretty good okay the next thing is my uh, Ulta eye primer and I do love this stuff and you know I thought I was almost out of this but when I go like this, I've still got about this much left. So I've got quite a bit left, but I'm still going to use this until it's gone before I use any of my other primers. Uh, next thing is, I'll go on with mascara. Lash Accelerator Mascara with AVEC Grow Lash Complex by Rimmel. And I love this. This is a very good mascara. First of all, I love the long wand. It just seems like, for to me, my preference is the longer the wand, the better. It is easier for me to put, to maneuver it. Plus, it's got, you know, it doesn't have the thick, thick um, spoolie, you know, like I normally like, but it's not too thin either. It And it makes my lashes look pretty good. So I really like, I, I'm a fan of Rimmel's, um, what, what Rimmel's, mascara I have had so far. Okay, the next thing I'm using my Morphe um, 35K, and that is the coffee colored palette. That's what it's called. Okay, so I used my same old, same old um, on my lid, or on my, all over my eye. Then I used this one for my transition. Then I used this dark, um, kind of sparkly down here for my lid and 
these are pretty good. They're a little powdery, but they go on very pigmented. They're pretty good shadows. I'm, I'm a fan of Morphe shadows. I'll show you my eyes. The only thing is, I, I love their um, shimmering eyeshadows. I absolutely love them. But today, um, even after I wash my face, I've got glitter. <laughs> or shimmers all the way along here, which, you know, it's it's all right. I don't mind. You know, I'm not in a well-lit room today anyway. <laughs> but um, they do shed a little bit, so you have to be careful with that. Okay, the next thing I used was my Kiko Milano Number no. 2 Blending Wave Multicolor Blush. Looks like this. This is a good blush. I, I really like the colors. Um, I like that it's it's not too pigmented, but it, it doesn't take a lot of work to put this on. But it's very powdery. Um, I had it all over my shirt when I was when I was done applying my blush. Okay. Next is my uh, Wet n Wild Geometric Highlighting Powder in Desert Explorations. Um, this is a pretty good highlighter, but it's subtle. It is not, um, not really the kind of highlighter that I like. I like something that, that when I'm looking in this mirror behind my camera, I can see highlighter, and I don't. I don't know if you guys can or not. I can if I'm looking in the really close-up mirror. But just to look at it, I don't see any highlighter. And that doesn't do me any good. So I'm not real impressed with this. Okay, lipstick. Let's just put it on. Today I'm going to use the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm in... In, in, in... Oh my goodness, they usually put the... It's hard for me to see. It does say Bellissimo Brilliante, but that's just the... I believe that's just the... It's number 275. That's the only color I can see. And it's just a balm. super light. Pretty though. Okay, so for my lip colors, my favorite by far this week was the flower. That was my favorite for the week. That is this color. That's the one I wore um, on Saturday. Then my next favorite was the Ulta. Ugh. And that one looks like that. I wore that. I'm thinking I wore that Thursday, maybe. And then, I don't know what my difference is. I think I like the darker cover girl better than the lighter one that I have on today. This is really nude. Really nude. And I kind of I'm kind of liking the tint more of color. So, but they're good. I like I like my colored crayons and I like using them. I've got quite a few of them actually and I'll probably do another week of those coming up sometime. But that's these. All right. So that is my week in a nutshell. <laughs> eggshell, nutshell, what, how do you say that? <laughs> I don't even know. But um, I hope you guys had a great weekend, a long weekend, for those of you that don't work tomorrow. Um, I've got tomorrow off, and then I work four again. Um, i got to tell you, I've got a few concerns about my job. First of all, it's so boring. Um, but they let me sit and read my, my on my nook. So 
I'm getting a lot of reading done. <laughs> and, you know, I've gotten, I've gotten a few tips here and there, you know, it's, it's not too bad. And I get a little, I've been helping out in the bar, so I've gotten, they split a little bit of their tips with me also, so that helps. Um, but they've let me go early twice this week already, and I've only worked four days. So I'm really worried about even getting full-time hours in. I was hired for at least 32 hours, and as of yesterday, I had 24. Now today, I'll have more than that because I'm going in almost four hours early, so um, or three and a half hours early. So that, that'll help me a lot. Um, I do, I am going to talk to another guy in town tomorrow. He told me to come and talk to him. They've got, um, right now it's 11 to, 11 to 5, Monday through Friday, daytime bartender. I don't know how much it pays yet. And I, I would see if he could extend that an hour every day, like 11 to 6. So I could have 35 hours every week. Um, the girl that, that works at where I work now is going back there to work because he made her an offer she couldn't refuse. And she said, um, that's pretty good hours. I mean, you know, it's, it's a good deal. So I'm going to go talk to him and see what I think. If he can pay me as much as I'm making now and give me those extra five hours a week, I will quit where I'm at and go there. I, you know, it's just, I can't, I can't risk this on getting two, three hours less than I should be every single night. I can't risk that. That's not enough hours for me. Now, of course, I'll stay with it if I don't, if I decide not to take the other job, of course I will. But, and I've already talked to my boss here about, I got to have my full-time hours. So we will see. I'm just, I'm always a little cautious when it comes to this stuff right now, but I'm going to go talk to that guy tomorrow and I will let you know what I find out. I'll talk to you later. Bye.